Be filled with the Spirit. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 18 And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Paul's warning is fully loud and clear. Don't be controlled by alcohol or else one will have a wasted, unproductive life which is a self-aggravating condition. Paul brings into focus that anything in excess which has the power to control, harm or hurt a Christian needs to be handled with extreme caution and care or shunned entirely. Being controlled by the Spirit is living in a manner worthy of God's calling. It is allowing the Holy Spirit to have unrestrained display of his power in us and have a total free movement without any obstruction, hurdle or barrier caused by our unrepented sins. Be filled with the Spirit. If we do not obey this command, we cannot obey any other simply because we cannot do any of God's will apart from God's Spirit. That's by John MacArthur. Unless you are controlled by the Spirit of God, you can never walk in humility, love, unity, light and wisdom. The life of God in the soul of man is the only way anyone can live a righteous life. To walk without the Spirit is to walk without wisdom. Check Ephesians 5 and verses 15 to 17. That's lifted from grace to you, a John MacArthur ministry. To be filled with the Spirit means to be submerged in the unending joy that emanates from the Holy Trinity. Amen. God commands, be filled with the Spirit. And that's in Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 18. Now unto the King, eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Please like if the vlog brought value to you. Do subscribe from darkness to light, God promises, and both the clickable buttons are below the vlog next to the comment section.